Hello, my name is Faisal Mahmoud and today we're going to talk about what was evaluated as a geologic hazard. A geologic hazard is a one of several types of geologic condition capable of causing damage or loss property and life. This hazard consists of sudden phenomena such as avalanche, earthquake, landslide, volcanic eruption, lahars or mud flows and debris flows or rock falls. Engineering geologist. Engineering geologist is a person who, by reason of his special knowledge of geological sciences and the principles and methods of engineering analysis and design acquired by professional education or practical experience, is qualified to apply such special knowledge for the purpose of rendering professional services or accomplishing creative work such as consultation, investigation, planning, design or supervision of construction for the purpose of assuring the geologic elements affecting the structures, works or projects are adequately treated by the responsible engineer. In other words, engineering geologists are responsible for identifying the geological factors that could affect construction projects. They analyze ground materials to assess their risk factors and advise on the best procedures for developments and the suitability of the construction materials. Geologic, geologic hazard may be avoided by relocation. The stability of sloping earth can be improved by constructing the retaining walls which may be used techniques such as slurry walls, spear pins, tie box, soil nails, soil anchors, larger projects may use gabion and other forms of earth. Shore lines and stream are protected against score and erosion using um, revertments and riprap. The soil or rock itself may be improved by it means such as dynamic compaction, injection or drought concrete and mechanically sta stabilized earth. Additional mitigation methods include deep foundations, tunnels, surface and sub-drain system and other measure. Finally, planning measure include regulation prohibiting development near hazard prone areas and adoption of building codes. Earthquake. An earthquake is the result of a sudden release of stored energy in the pack crust that creates seismic waves. In its most generic sense, the word earthquake is used to describe any event, whether a natural phenomenon or an event caused by human that generates seismic waves. Earthquakes. Across the globe, people feel and estimate 1 million earthquakes a year. However, Few of these earthquakes are noticed and even fewer are considered major earthquakes. An earthquake is a trampling of the earth's surface that occurs when the energy in the form of strains and rock layers is released. Some earthquakes are associated with volcanic eruption, while most occur because of the plate tectonics. What are the basic earth earthquake features? We have epicenter. Place on the surface of the earth above where the rupture rocks broke up to produce an earthquake. Next is focus. Point of initial breaking of a rupturing within the earth. Third one is hypocenter. Directly below is the focus. Earthquake are measured and compared by intensity, magnitude, moment magnitude, and rich. rich scale. Effects of the ground motion of the people and structure is the intensity. Magnitude, amount of energy an earthquake release. Moment magnitude indicates the size of the earthquake with a decimal number. It is determined from an estimate of the area that rupture along a fault plane during the quake. The amount of the movement of slippage along the fault and the rigidity of the rocks near the focus of the quake. Currently used by the news reporter are the one and only Rich Richard Scale, developed by the famous ismologist Charles Richard or Richard. 
still used by some news reporters. Effects of the earthquake and linkage with other natural hazard, shaken and ground rupture, and liquefaction. Shaken and ground rupture, the immediate effects of the catastrophic earthquake, which are violently ground shaking, accompanied by widespread surface, rupture and displacement of the earth's surface. The, liquid, the liquefaction, however, during earthquakes, intent, intent shaken can cause near surface layer of water, saturated sand to change rapidly from solid to liquid. That's all about earthquake. Landslide. A landslide is defined as the movement of a mass of rock, debris, or earth down a slope landslide area a type of mass wasting which denotes any downslope movement of soil and rock under the direct influence of gravity. Landslide is a downslope movement of a mass of rock debris or soil. Soil is mixture of rock and debris. Slope is a slant or incline on land. The forces that produce landslide are earth materials, topography, and slope angle, climate, vegetation, and time. Earth material is mineral composition, degree of commentation or consolidation, the presence of zones weaknesses. Topography and slope angles. Topographic relief refers to the height of the hill or the mountain above the land below. The steeper the slope, the greater the driving force. Climate, weather that is typical in a place over the decades for landslide, the types of climate influences the amount and timing of water that infiltrates and erode a slope. Vegetation, all the plants or plant life in a place, this provides a protection cover that cautions the impact of the falling rain to slope. Water affects slope stability in three ways. Number one, shallow soil slips and debris flows develop during rainstorm when slope becomes saturated. Some landslide develop months or se even seven following a deep infiltration of water into a slope. Number three, the water erosion on the base of slope decreases its stability. Time, weathering of rocks through time reduces their strength. Volcanic eruption. Volcanic eruption happen when lava and gas are discharged from a volcanic vent. The most common consequences of this are population movements as large to flee. The moving lava flow volcanic eruption often cause temporary food shortages and volcanic ash and land slide called the har my topic for today is volcanic eruption so volcanic eruptions are one of the earth's most dramatic and violent agents of change why because the magma is not very liquid when these volcanoes erupt they explode with a bang can say that the earth is something like a shaking soda their presence lower the magma's density and decrease the buoyant force pushing upward through the crust. Magma Magma is a molten rock under the Earth's crust. During an eruption, pressure builds up inside the Earth and forces molten magma reaches the surface it is called lava. Lava Lava is a molten rock erupted by a volcano to the Earth's surface. When lava cools, it forms igneous rock. Over time, this rock builds up and creates a variety of land form. Vent Opening of a volcano through which lava and other volcanic materials are extruded onto the surface. Ring of Fire is an area where large number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur in the basin of the Pacific Ocean. At ang Ring of Fire naman ay horseshoe shape na may haba na 40,000 km at ang lapad naman niya ay 500 km. An eruption happens when magma, gases, or steam break through vents in the Earth's surface. A mild eruption may simple discharge steam and other gases or quietly expel lava. 
A strong eruption can consist of violent explosions that send great clouds of glass-laden debris into the atmosphere, or may consist of eruptions that erupt sideways from a collapsed part of the volcano. Floods are the most frequent type of natural disaster in you know? occur when an overflow of water submerges land that is usually dry. Floods are often, often caused by heavy rainfall, rapid snow melt, or a storm surge from a tropical cyclone or tsunami in coastal areas. Floods can cause widespread devastation resulting in loss of life and damages to personal property and crit critical public health infrastructure. Between 1998 to 2017. Floods affected more than 2 billion people worldwide. People who live in flood flames or non-resistant buildings or lack warning system and awareness of flooding hazard are most vul vulnerable to floods. There are three common types of floods. Number one is flash floods. Flash floods are caused by rapid and excessive rainfall that raises water heights quickly and rivers, streams, channels or roads may be overtaken. Number 2. River floods are caused when consistent rain or snow melt forces a river to exceed capacity. Number 3. Coastal floods Coastal floods are caused by storm surges associated with tropical cyclones and tsunami. Hello everyone, so today is I'm going to talk about earthquake. So let's start. Earthquake is the minimal to rapid shaking of the ground due to the movement of rocks along faults on earth's crust. So we got plates move. What is plates move? The heat from radioactive processes within the planet's interior causes the plates to move sometimes toward and sometimes away from each other. This movement is called plate motion or tectonic shift. So we got rocks break, energy is released, and turns to earthquake. What causes an earthquake? An earthquake is caused by a sudden slip on a fault. The tectonic plates are always moving slowly, but they get stuck at the edges due to friction. How do earthquake trigger? Earthquakes are usually caused when Rock underground suddenly breaks along a fault. This sudden release of energy causes the seismic waves that make the ground shake. When two blocks of rock or two plates are rubbing against each other, they stick a little. When the rocks break, the earthquake occurs. Let's talk about floods. Floods are the most frequent type of natural disaster and occur when an overflow of water submerges land that is usually dry. Floods are often caused by heavy rainfall, rapid snow melt, or a storm surge from a tropical cyclone or tsunami in coastal areas. Floods can form where there is no stream as for example when abnormally heavy precipitation falls on flat terrain at such a rate that the soil cannot absorb water or the water cannot run off as fast as it falls. How do floods trigger? Severe flooding is caused by um, atmospheric conditions that lead to heavy rain or the rapid melting of snow and ice. Geography can also make an area more likely to flood. For example, areas near rivers and cities are often at risk for flash floods. A flood is an overflow of water onto land that is normally dry. Let's talk about volcanic eruption. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust through which lava, volcanic ash, and gases escape. Volcanic eruptions are partly driven by pressure from dissolved gas. Deep within the Earth, it is so hot that some rocks slowly melt and become a thick flowing substance called magma. Since it is lighter than the solid rock around it, magma rises and collects in magma chambers. Eventually, some, some of the magma pushes through vents and fissures to the earth's surface. Magma that has erupted is called lava. 
How Volcanic Eruption Trigger A volcano is a rupture in the crust of a planetary mass object, such as Earth that allows hot lava, volcanic ash, and gases to escape from a magma chamber below the surface. Earth's volcanoes occur because its crust is broken into 17 major, rig rigid tectonic plates that float on a hotter, softer layer in its mantle. Let's talk about debris flow. Debris flow is basically a fast-moving landslide made up of liquefied, unconsolidated, and saturated mass that resembles flowing concrete. In this aspect, they are not dissimilar from avalanches where unconsolidated ice and snow cascades down the surface of a mountain, carrying trees and rocks with it. What is the cause of debris flow? Debris flows can be triggered in a number of ways. Typically, they result from sudden rainfall where water begins to wash material from a slope or when water removed material from a freshly burned stretch of land. Another major cause of debris flows is the erosion of steams and river banks. What type of event would trigger a debris flow? Debris flows can be triggered by intense rainfall or snow melt, by dam break or glacial outburst floods, or by landsliding that may or may not be associated with intense rain or earthquakes. How can we prevent geological hazards? What are the main causes of geological hazard? Um, that's all for today. Um, thank you for watching and listening. Um, that's all. Thank you. And I hope you learn about this video. And don't forget to answer the question. Thank you.